um a lot uh so I'm trying to like remember the exact timeline of how things happen because um I was originally supposed to graduate in I think summer of 2020 but I ended up graduating at the end of fall semester 2020 um but during during that like uh kind of the previous year I had been on the job market um as I was finishing my PhD so it's like writing the dissertation writing like many 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 job applications fun (laughs) um and there was a lot of like uncertainty with the job market and it was actually not a very good job market because once the pandemic hit a lot of the places that I'd interviewed with I'd end up um actually like free kind of freezing the position or um or no longer offering the position um so it was there was just a lot of like where will where will I end up after this while also trying to finish my PhD so in my dissertation and uh so it was yeah it, a, a lot of it was just kind of like trying to stay afloat during all of that and um but I did end up getting the position at Indiana University Northwest which I'm thrilled about obviously <laughs> um and uh and then I started I started teaching fall semester 2020 from a distance so I was actually like I was living in uh, Minnesota with my parents because I usually stay there during the summer but kind of because I was in transition I had been living there or here because <laughs> I'm here right now for the summer um for uh kind of the final year of my PhD program um because I was on fellowship so um so I started teaching online while also finishing my PhD so it was like a lot of juggling <laughs> um a lot of work kind of just a lot of time really isolated alone just doing that work like prepping my courses and and teaching and stuff and um and then it it feels strange that I've already been at IUN now um two years and it's kind of like wow the time has just gone like that (laughs) because you're kind of just like jumping a little bit from like one um one task for the next and uh so I I and then uh, after my kind of first academic year teaching there, I moved to IUN when we kind of moved um, in person. So that was a whole big task as well. Um, and I I feel like um, even though I have moved there now, I haven't had all that much time to really kind of like explore the area or even be in person doing like social things yet. So I feel like I've been <laughs> with kind of like the you know, I always think of people doing their PhDs as like moles who go underground for a while and then they eventually pop up again to be like, oh, they, they, my, how things have changed. But I feel like I've been watching a lot of what's been happening like through my computer almost for a lot of that time. Um, so I'm kind of like looking forward in the future to being able to spend more time in person with other people. Um, but yeah, that's 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 mainly what I've what I've been doing, so... Um, I joined a D&D group that we, we just play over um, this thing called Roll20, a, a web app, web platform called Roll20, and we just play on Discord, you know, we hop onto a Discord server and talk that way, um, which is cool because I haven't played D&D in over 20 years, like probably in over 25 years or something. It wasn't, wasn't like last time I played a t- tabletop role game was an undergrad. Um, oh wow! And uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I've been I got into soccer in the last two years. I mean, I was already a a MLS fan, or I was already a soccer fan, but sort of like light. You know, I would watch the World Cup, I would watch the Olympics, um, and every once in a while, I would watch an MLS game, uh, Major League Soccer, the the American League um, game, but like over the last two years, I like really got into it. And now I watch, you know, a lot of games. I watch all the Sounders games. I watch most of the Timbers games. Um, and I think I understand now. <laughs> like <laughs> when I was a, when I was growing up and in college and everything, I would call myself a nerd, you know? And 
had disdain for jocks, right? Or <laughs> yeah. had disdain for the popular kids or whatever. And like, yeah. and never really got sports. Mm -hmm. um, and I played soccer when I was growing up and I liked playing it, but I never really understood watching it really. Mm -hmm. um, and this is especially true of like football or baseball or whatever. I find them completely boring. Um, or that's not true. I mean, I, 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 I appreciate the strategy level of these games, but, um, but I would rather just be playing myself, right? Um, but then I, really yeah. I guess during the pandemic, I find it a form of like self-care actually. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just sort of escape like it's it's a better form of escapism for me than than games are um and you just you just plop down for two hours you just like, forget everything else and you just watch the soccer game you know and um you can get really into it like you can you follow the player stats you can you can be really into um you know transfers and all that stuff and all the strategy that goes into how you um develop a team and all this stuff and um there's enough there there's enough sort of like meat there that you can just sort of like use it to occupy yourself so that you don't have to think about how shitty the world is really for like two hours and i've come to really appreciate it for that and i don't know really if that's why you know football is so popular but i totally get it now I, I get why you would want to spend like a whole day just watching football and not doing anything else because everything else in your life is shitty um and so you know it makes sense to me now 